Pra fight no dezembro, meu brother. You don't know? Não. Não? Break, break down for They it. didn't tell you? Break news, break news. Easy money, my brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you fucking crazy? The same for sure. Easiest money of my life, bro. For sure. I'm, I'm beating somebody and fighting for the belt. And let me tell you something, Isla Makachev. <laughs> you in trouble, my brother. <laughs> Best podcast in the business. The name is Show Me The Money. Welcome back, everybody, to episode 27 now of the Show Me The Money podcast. We are finally all back in the studio in person here. We had a fun weekend. I learned a lot from Moicano, expert roulette player at the Hard Rock, bro. You want to tell the people your strategy? No. <laughs> you got to pay for it or what? No, you know what? I'm mad with them, my brother, because <laughs> I was up $500. Yeah. And then just because you had lost everything, I say, I have to gamble too. So nah. and I lost everything on the first, on the first, uh, on the first shot. Yeah. Right. First spin. On the first spin. Yeah. yeah on the yeah. first spin. So, so I should have stick to the strategy. Dude, you were crushing it, bro. I'm going to tell Gilbert his yeah. strategy. He, he's a pain. Don't, don't tell them. Don't tell them, my brother. You, you're going to give them for free. Don't gambling advice? No free information. You're free gonna, advice? Okay. Gonna, I'll just tell we, you what happened at the end. We, we're gonna have a member subscription. <laughs> yeah. So you gotta pay for the member subscription, <laughs> right? And then we're gonna have all the details. Some people pay for them, my brother. Bro. For sure. Oh, 100%. Let me explain something. I'll just tell you what happened. No, you can, you can, you can tell. You grinded him. out profit, right? For an hour and a half, right? And then at the very end of the night, he takes every dollar he made in profit, puts it on one roulette spin. What do you bet? Red or black? I think it was black. And it went red. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, bro, you just you just spent an hour and a half, like, literally, like, so patient, right? He would, like, he would watch the pattern on the roulette board, right? And then he'd be like, okay, now it's going black. And then he'll bet. And then he would sit out two spins. And then he would bet again. He watched the pattern. And he was hitting at, like, 80%. So just, let me just, let me tell my strategy so right, people right, don't know let's, how, let's don't, let's don't know if it's make, done. Make sure you subscribe right now. <laughs> Click the like button that, and subscribe. But that's the inside, strategy inside information. Go. The strategy is like that. You have roulette, right? And some people like to play the numbers, but the odds is like 30 to one, right? 35, yeah. 35 to one in every. So you're never gonna hit that. So instead, go with the black and the and the red and, and the red because it's 50 percent. Every time it's going to be 50 percent. So the way that I like to do is when all the time is just scoring black, let's say they, they score five times black and then I go on the red. And if go black again, and then you double, you know? <laughs> and then you double and it's not gonna be like 10 times black. One, 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 one time gonna hit red. So you just have to keep doubling, 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 doubling. And, and then you make money. I made 500 on, on, on profits, but then I saw this guy on the blackjack. Brother, these guys are degenerate. <laughs> how much? How much? <laughs> Come on, how bro. much? You know how much he lost on how the much? casino? Huh. More than eight thousand dollars. Yeah, wow. I, that was in that was two shoes of blackjack. <laughs> Man, no, but first of all, I lost 1500 in roulette playing next to him. And you know, you, here's but you, you don't have strategy, my brother. He was over there and said 300 on the 32. Fuck, bro. This is not happening. Bro. Let me explain something to you, bro. You can't blame <laughs> someone else for your losses in gambling. You just blame. He, you just heard that he blamed me for his no, losses, no, no, bro. no. I was not blaming you. I'm he not said word for word. He said no, no, no. because of this guy, I bet no. all in. So I was wrong. I was wrong. Not because you, but because everybody lost. Nobody was playing. It was just me on the roulette, and I say time to go home. I go big or go home, and I went I like home. It. No, I like that. I like that. I'm going to explain that to you, though. No. You know what gambler's fallacy is? No. You know what gambler's fallacy is? So you heard when he said, like, it went black five times in a row. The sixth time is going to be red, right? That's that's how the strategy. So gambler's fallacy occurs when you believe the probability of an event is different, is lower or higher after a series of outcomes. So it's basically, no matter what, the odds are the same every roulette spin or every bet. But in theory, in theory, yes, in theory. But let me ask you something. Do you think it's going to be black 15 times? No, 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 no. It's not going to be in reality. I know every time that they spin the, the roulette, 
is going to be 50% black and, and red. Yes. But in reality, if keep scoring black, eventually going to go red. Hey. UFC 307. <laughs> Freaking <laughs> poor like, I mean, Put on like, my <laughs> show. And these guys talking about gambling. So let's go. You guys want to hear about the 307? Uh, we got to do a breakdown. Or, come gonna, on, yeah, bro. We got to do a breakdown. Unbelievable night. Let's go right to the main event first because incredible performance by Peloton. He, he kind of let Khalil gas himself a little bit, right? Like he had some moments and rounds. Like I saw, I saw someone tweet and said, if it was a three rounder that yeah, Peloton if, loses, I'm like, if, guys, that doesn't fucking matter. Yeah. He he came with a strategy for a five rounder. I, I hate but when they say that if, 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 yeah. Yeah, if, if you're born a girl, you're not going to be a fighter or whatever, yeah. you know, if. If doesn't work, yeah. my brother. Right. If uh, France was capitalism, they do, you know, take that. If France was not socialist, I would have more money yeah. right here to, to gamble on the roulette, my brother. But yeah. that, that was not happen. But, but, I have something to point out because yeah, yeah. even though you, you say Poitain did a great job and stuff, he lost the two first rounds. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was down too, for sure. The, the crazy yeah. thing is, uh, Khalil fought very good the first two rounds. Yeah. He was kind of waiting, patient, going backwards because freaking Poitain keep coming forward. And then I like it because he was answering those quick punches and bombs and getting out of the way and making Porta miss, not giving a good distance. I like it a lot. He, yeah. I thought Kalu was going to kick him on the beginning. He didn't kick. At all. But then freaking Porta, thank you for coming forward. Like, yeah. even, you know what crazy thing is? Like, it was not working, right? Your strategy was actually not working. You lost the first round, lost the second round. But the guy keep the composure, you know? Still coming forward, still crazy. He got that, they count as a knockdown, was just a flash down. Or, I don't think he counted down because he didn't see, right? I don't think he counted. Uh, yeah, Khalil didn't get the knockdown, I don't think. But was it flash down crazy, right? Yeah. It was a knockdown, I think, right? It was close. Yeah. I don't yeah. think, it, I think if you see it, it's a knockdown. If you don't see, you just, I, I think they say yeah. it's a flash down. I don't think they counted it. Yeah, but it was a, uh, it was, he, he had a good moment, like a kick to the head. He had a kick to the head that Peloton no. kind of moved his head what, last uh, second and clipped him. Yeah. Yeah. He ate but a freaking high kick. Could you bro. imagine if that head kick finished him? That would have been three main events in, in Utah with a head kick knockout. Wow. Yeah. Dustin, and, crazy. And, and Kamaru, dog, right? Gage and Kamaru. And, and, and the underdogs, and right? With the underdogs. That's true. Yeah. Well, Gage, yeah. Yeah, because Gage was a small dog, I think. It was very close. But wow. Yeah, I mean, look, at the end of the day, uh, I'll tell you what, Khalil straight left is lightning fast, dude. So fast. I think that's why the fight was so good is because everyone, you're like clinching the whole time. Like as as you're watching the fight, you're like, this fight can end either way at any moment. Um, and the first two rounds, like Khalil had a lot of success and, you know, but Peloton, I think had a great strategy. You know, he kind of just. So, so th that's what I want to ask you. Yeah. Do you think that was a strategy or he was not finding the, the distance? Because I don't think that was a strategy. I think Khalil was just faster than him and was yeah. getting him with everything. Like you say, uh, softball all the time, left hand, straight yeah. left hand. And then when Poitain was a little bit more aggressive, he was throwing combinations, going fast, and the right yeah. hook all the time, all yeah. night long. So I, so I don't I well, don't want to say Poitain, I Poitain think didn't want to be aggressive, but Khalil Hontri was yeah. a better man on the first two rounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah but... But that's the thing, it was a five round fight. I think it was a little, they knew all that guy is fast in the beginning. So we gotta. And, and Alex Pereira was coughing between rounds. So I yeah, don't think you he saw was, that. Yeah, I saw that. I, and he, 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 he talked about that the on, at the press conference. Yeah. Like he was taking antibiotics this, yeah. and stuff. This dude needs to take six months, bro. He deserves some rest in my I opinion. I don't think, you think he's gonna take six months? I think he's gonna take six months. You think he will? I mean, here's the thing. I think he'll try to, and then something will happen, right? Like whether it's the John Jones fight or something, he's gonna be sitting by the TV, and then he's gonna get the itch. You know, he's gonna be, yeah. he's gonna want to to, to I, take I, the fight because yeah. of something that happens. I think he gotta stay busy. I think he gotta stay busy, like you say. He gotta be. He said yeah. he had a bunch of travels now, South Korea. He go. Bali. I don't know if he needs to six months, brother. He's thirty seven. I, I, I don't think he's six months. At but least I, he needs to chill a little bit, like. Yeah. Like you right now, you, you back at training already or no? I have a fight on December, my brother. You don't know? No. No? Break, break down for they it. They didn't tell you? Break news, break news. Easy money, my brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you fucking crazy? December, <laughs> sure. easiest money of my life, bro. 
For sure, you gotta I fight. I can't tell, but the same way it is, man. But I'm telling you. Tell the guys. Tell the guys. Who you fighting? Is it actually happening in December, though? Easy money, the brother. Easiest, the easiest? Easiest. Po, Patty Pimblet. Huh? Easiest. Uh, Patty, Dan. Patty Dan or, Hooker, or Dan Hooker. You tell me, my brother. You tell me you know the rules. You cannot talk. Hey, I'm, mad. Yeah. I'm going to give you three names. You just say yes to one of these names. No, no, I'm joking. No? I don't have a fight. Ah, anymore. look at this guy. Ah. Making us like he, making us like he. No, you don't have? Or no, maybe, no. maybe. No, I want to. I am asking of she for December. Let's December see what seven. They say. Yeah. Yeah, December. Yeah, because Dana, I, I hate when Dana said on the mic, he's like, we kind of need some time. Like, yeah. But, but I think you told me that someone talked to Dana and, and Dana didn't realize, when I think when Dana said that, he yeah. didn't realize that no, yeah. he thought that happened after round one. Yes. So yes. maybe his opinion, his stance will change. Yes, 100%. He thought that I, that I hurt myself on the fight. But like I say, yeah. it was three weeks. And I, I, you guys remember, like, you guys asking me to come into the pod. And I say, no, no, I can't. Because yeah. I didn't want people to, to see. To start to, talking to, about it. Yeah, yeah, to start to talking about but But I'm good, brother. I feel it. The show is good. Yeah. You know, it's not looking good, but. So you want to do December? December, January, March. Depend no, on the where, opponent. Where? But when do you want? If they, hey, when you ready? When you gonna be ready? Depends December on 7. the opponent. Depends on the opponent. If they, if they. I think the opponent is gonna be Dan Hooker or Petty. Or yeah, Patty. me too. Me if too. It, if it's Dan Hooker or Petty, December you're good. Yeah, or, or, or even Benil, or even Gaethje, you know. Gaethje or Benil? No, those are your four options. I don't wanna fight Benil, Benil anymore. Benil not. So I Benil. Think he, 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 I don't like that fight, man. So it's, just it, engage, it doesn't excite me. Doesn't excite me. Doesn't exactly. excite so just engage bro. number one option. Justin Gaethje. No, I think Dan Hooker is the Dan best Hooker. one. And then Gaethje and then Paddy Pimblich. I'm okay. not I'm not saying that I'm gonna I'm going to choose whoever they yeah, but they offer. You gotta be one of those three, right? Yeah, one it, of those three. To exactly. make sense. Yeah. Yeah, brother. I have been fighting for a long time. Now it's time to get to get paid. It's for time sure. to get the title and shot. I, and get, I think I'm gonna get the title shot off one of those three fights. And you're gonna yeah. get a new contract right now? But I don't know. Maybe. I hope sure. so. But that's what you want. So how many fights you had in your last contract? Was five fights in your last contract or six? No, I I have two more fights. So but but how how many fights you had in your contract? Five or six? Five. Five and that was what Drew Dober? Yeah, three fights. I had three fights. I had so I, I I have two Drew, more. So usually we, we do after the next one. So, but you have, how many, say that again, sorry, six or five? Five. So, you, then you fought Drew Dober, Jalen Turner, Turner, and, uh, and Benoit Sandini. And Benoit, oh, now it's time Brad to... Riddell wasn't part of this this contract? Who? Benoit? No. Uh, yeah. Drew Dober, Jalen Turner, and Benoit Sandini. Yeah, yeah. So, you have two more fights. Two more fights. But what do you want? You want to renegotiate right now? Or you want to win one more fight and then renegotiate? Depends what do you on the think? opponent, you know? Okay. Definitely, if they if they but want like, to, like if it's their hooker, what are you gonna do? No, I, I get I got the not, same money. Yeah, yeah no, no. If, if it's Brad, Patty, if it's Gaethje, I don't mind to fight the same money. If it's Patty, definitely I want a new country. Okay, yeah, it makes sense. Brad Riddell was the last fight of your the last old country. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so your the first fight was Dober. The first and fight, that, was and that country was four fights. Four fights, and now five fights. Five fights. Next yeah. one is gonna be six or seven. Yeah, yeah. Because then, yeah. No man, I'm I'm beating somebody and fighting for the belt. And let me tell you something, Islam Makahachev. <laughs> you in trouble, my brother. Let's go. You in trouble. I just need one or two more fights. And, and who you think is gonna win, Arman or Islam? It's a good fight, right? That's a very good fight and a tough one to call. And doesn't matter. I'm gonna beat. I know, I'm gonna no, no, beat no. them both. I know you're gonna fight these both, but who you think? Islam. You think he's long? I don't know, man. I, I think I Arman know. is bro. good. Yeah. That's the only Arman is yeah, good. I think yeah. Arman. Because yeah. Arman is getting so much better. Yeah. And the first fight was close. Super close. Like a week notice. Yeah. He's gonna be a good size underdog, though. I will tell you that much. He's gonna be a, a decent man. Underdog. Since his last fight against Dustin Poirier, for me, at least, the, the stocks of Islam Akachev went a little bit down. Yeah. Because he was tired. I was surprised. Yeah, he was yeah, very, yeah. very tired on the fight. So if he cannot keep up the the pace against a wrestler like Armand, that's going to be very hard for him. Very hard. You very know? Very. And, and Armand is a monster. Like he's it's young. It's hard, right? It's Good. hard. Yeah. I don't think his strike is his best, but 
I don't know. And, and he's freak. He's a freak, right? He's very athletic because I was, I didn't follow him a long ago, and then I started following him. And I see he's doing a lot of bunch of crazy different stretching. He's like, he does like Pilates and stuff. And he's so flexible. I saw the thing that he was, you saw that video that he was turning his hips. You saw that or no? No. Uh -huh. Bro, his hips go all the way like almost opposite, like the way he turns. You saw that or no? No, no. He's no. on his page. I was looking like, oh my God, like that guy. I don't follow him too, you know? He's I don't follow him too because uh, at one point we were supposed to fight before oh, I, got, okay. I got hurt. Bef and, okay. and even though, we are from the same gene, you know? I was I was telling my coaches, be ready because I'm gonna beat Armand too, you know? I don't yeah. wanna be disrespectful. But, what's, that dynamic, but, what's that dynamic like with Armand? Because yeah. I know Armand and Dustin don't like each other. Yeah. And I remember one of Dustin's coaches had told me, he's like, this guy's fake, bro. Like, like. Uh, I think it was the, the die, I, well, I think it was Dyer, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. The, the, Dustin, I think he he's such a legend, you know? He's such a. yeah. Uh, a great dude and one of the, one of the first at America Top Team. So I think he has a lot of uh, people respecting him a He's lot. He's the so, OG there, right? Yeah, you gotta yeah. gotta respect the guy. Yeah, yeah. so everybody respects him, even though I don't think... I have seen people that don't like each other training in the same mat yeah. and... It is what it is. It is what yeah. it is, yeah. yeah. But it would be crazy if you fight him, right? Because his head coach is Pahompa and he's your head coach, too, right? Yeah. So what he's going to do? He's going to step out of both? He's going to step out. The last time that we were supposed to fight, he said, I'm not going to coach you. I'm not going to coach, coach him. And That's smart. Yeah. You, guys, you guys do your thing. And I say, okay. Yeah. And unfortunately, I, I had my, my knee at the time. And, and now that was good because I think, I think that, that fight, is going to be better in a title fight. I think yeah, it's going sure. to, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. So I'm not, I'm not mad. Yeah, nice for sure. All right, let's get back to we're, let's get back to the recap here. Um, so one thing very impressive, Alex Pereira. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw that, but th the fastest three title defenses in UFC saw, history. Crazy, right? He beat Jamal Hill, Prohaska, and Roundtree. He broke, who was it? Uh, Ronda Rousey's Ronda record? Ronda Rousey, yeah. Yeah, so very impressive. Props to prayer. Take some time and rest, in my opinion. Maybe not yeah, six months, but maybe at least three or four. So I agree. Um, let's, let's move on to that co-main event because okay. I got to ask you guys. I'm biased here. I had a big bet on Raquel Pennington. Yeah. Every single media member, I don't know how many, 15, however many yeah, media members. The media is crazy. Yeah, but 100%. Gave it to Raquel Pennington. She lost three yeah. to two on the judges' scorecards. I had it one four five for Pennington. She had a nasty knockdown in round four. One, one four and five. Yeah, yeah. one four five Me too. all day long. Right. Me too. She closes the bet in favorite. She after round one moved from a minus one eighty favorite to a minus two thirty favorite live. Juliana Pena did not do enough in my opinion to take the I belt agree. from her. I I, again, I'm biased because I had a big bet on her. I ended up losing the bet. What did you go? What did you make of the fight? I agree, and then I think, but we cannot talk about the media because the media is the same media that didn't move Moicano on the ranks. You know, right, right. it's kind of oh, like crazy. True. What do you think about that, brother? No, that's, let me ask you, you, that's you that watching the podcast, you watching the podcast. Six, Let's imagine, six. just imagine, if Patty Pimblet went to France, you know, yep. on, on a fucking crowded arena. Yeah. This motherfucker was over there, the only one with <laughs> Brazilian flag, and he's not even Brazilian. Hey, you gotta bring my Brazilian huh? flag back. I have it here. Kyle has it somewhere. Yeah. The only <laughs> motherfucker with the Brazilian flag, flag was Maddie, and that was nice. <laughs> it was sick. And imagine if Patty Pimblet went over there and did the same thing and had the same performance. Yeah, I'm 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 a hundred percent sure that they would. Putting him on, on, on the five. number five, a number six. So, so you know what? I don't know. It's bullshit. And I'm going to take it a step further. And I want to ask Gilbert's opinion on this. If Benoit St. Denis 10 8 you in the first round and finishes the fight as the number 12 guy, you know damn well he's going to be number six or seven after yeah. that. 100%. Yeah. So it's bullshit. Yeah. It is bullshit, yeah. bro. Yeah. Even, but, even Dana, even Dana said, but then it's kind of crazy the answer because yeah. he agrees. But then he should blast on these guys. But yeah. oh, we're gonna put AI. I'm gonna ask you do any questions. <laughs> AI hey, is what not happened? The yeah, I'm gonna put an AI either. on that. That's no, it. the AI is I not the answer. AI because is gonna somebody's gonna program the, the AI and yeah, I don't like that too. But he is you should be on number six, seven, at least six, but yeah. it's crazy. But then 
coming back for this fight. We cannot talk about the media, but my opinion, Raquel Pennington is still the champion. And it's crazy because Juliana Pena is just like a Kobe Covington as, as a bullshit, girl. Yeah. Because Kobe Covington is the only guy that lost fights and fight for the title. Lost fights and fight yeah. for the title. She coming from a loss, for sure, okay, it was against Amanda. Yes, Amanda retired, bro. This girl don't fight since. And then she gets a pass direct for that's the a title. Great, that's a great comparison, though, because they're both inactive and they run their mouth like crazy. Yeah, and and, they, and I think she lost, and they give her the title. Yeah, click and, on that and, round four, And Kyle. it's crazy because Kayla Harrison was the next one already, and she like yeah. she act like Kayla wasn't there, you know? She act like, oh, Amanda, let's run it back. The round four was insane, so one knockdown to zero, 26 to 16. The swing round was round one, so go to round one. Yeah. If you look at the stats, round the one round was very one. close, but two, two, two judges gave to to Juliana. That's why yeah. she won. But I think uh, Raquel won the first round, lost the second and third. Yeah. Very, very clear. Juliana did good takedowns, good pressure on top controller. Yeah. But then Pennington came back on the fourth and the fifth. I think she did enough to win. Yeah. But those judges were crazy because, on the other hand, Carla Esparza won that fight. In my opinion. You watched that college That was a close fight? one, too. I think it was a, it had to have been a record for split decisions in one I night. I think Carlos Sparza won. Had to have been. And it was sucks. I know she's not the most entertaining, but she was, that was the last fight in her career. That was career. a retirement fight. Yeah. She won, and they give to the other girl. It's kind of like, I, I felt bad. Even that was the, the first time that I'm a fan of Joe Rogan that, that he went crazy. Yeah. You saw those kind of questions that he asked? Do you really think you won? You didn't have to win? <laughs> And she said, yeah, he does, does, does. but yeah, but you, he kind of asked twice, you know, it kind of looked yeah. bad for, for Tisha, but yeah, uh, yeah, I think it was a robbery on, on the, on the cold main, yeah. but the craziest fight that was the me and Moicano messed up with, with, uh, Bautista against Jose Aldo, right? Yeah, bro. Hey, no, we gotta, we gotta put the clip of Moicano telling me to bet 10,000 on Jose <laughs> Aldo, bro. He said 100%. Jose Aldo is not losing, yeah, my brother. Bro. <laughs> that was crazy. Do you think he lost or he got robbed? Dude, I think he got fucked. I and I, so, so do you think he win? I think he won, yeah. He I won, he won. 29-28. So, so I was right. Well, you were right, but even when you're right, sometimes in gambling, you still fucking lose. No, That's I, the shitty part I about think, this shit. I think Jose Aldo lost, Split even season. though... Really? I won the, what's the referee's name? Mikey Beltran. Was Beltran in that fight? Yeah, Beltran. I wanted Beltran to be, hey, move. But yeah. he was just like, hey, move. And the guy just did these, like, holding, like. I'm telling you right he, now. Yeah. That's not moving. They were like fucking and on, then, on the And then he let the guy, the guy just did, the, the guy just did huh? a little shoulder, you know. Uh, hey, yeah, move. Yeah. Action. The guy did yeah. these, like. He did just a little and bit of salsa. And then he don't say nothing. Uh -huh. And he don't say nothing. Yeah. And then I said, I'm like, I'm watching the home. He said, hey, that's not moving. That He's not trying. Like, just break. And then, but Bautista was more because whenever he said action, the guy just showed the yeah. movement. Brother. And then Bautista But I'm so, I'm so mad that I lose to Jose Aldo because if I knew that he could not escape to the cage, I would do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Because when I was like supposed to fight Jose Aldo, say okay, I'm not taking this motherfucker down because he has a yeah 100 percent uh, yeah. 90 percent uh, uh, take, take down defense, defense radio, yeah. but yeah. but he, he he cannot escape the 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 cage. The cage. Yeah. Unbelievable! Yeah. Because yeah. Manu Batista is not strong. He no, doesn't no, no. look strong. Merab did the same thing to him. Yeah, but Merab is Merab. Volkanovski, Volkanovski. But Merab yeah. showed the way. You know that's why Bautista yes. did. Bautista like if he yeah. gets crazy on stand up, I'm just gonna put this guy against the cage and I'm gonna win. I was very away. surprised. Do you think he but, was like trying to save energy, or he could not escape? I think he was kind of getting tired a little bit, and Bautista was doing good, and then he was just like, yeah, "I'm defending, I'm, I'm I, winning." He needed to have a little bit more urgency. He's, Even bro, his corner was saying, "He's forty that. and he's tired, bro." But <laughs> forty-two. <laughs> but, tell you, tell you. <laughs> forty-two. You saw the Joe Rogan in, in DC saying that line. Yeah, yeah, but DC yeah. put five more. Do you years. think they watched the Show Me the Money podcast? They, 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 I think they watched think the, they clip. Just the clip. Just the clip. Sure. Yeah, they watched they the, clip the clip for sure because that was sick, though. You saw he said five years. <laughs> DC, yeah. D, DC is a, is a freaking, you know, we have those gossipy shows in Brazil, loud these and this guy. He like this guy because I said he was one or two years older than me. And he said five. And DC said five. Like, yeah, but hey, cool. I have a question for you right now on that. So 
Mike, especially for Moicano, because he loves money. So I have a hmm. question for you. Uh, Khalil Roundtree lost the fight, but his stocks went up like crazy. He got so many fans. The whole arena was applauding him. Yeah. Nothing but good with Dana, with all these guys. Uh, he was fight of the night, right? So he got money. I think he's going to have sponsor opportunities. He's going on those podcasts. I think his next fight is going to be a big fight, right? So... That's my question. He he lost, but but he won, right? And Mario Bautista won, but yeah, I don't think the match makes gonna give him any favor. So no. who do you wanna be? You wanna win as Mario Bautista or rather lose at, like Khalil Round Three? Hey, that's a tough question because yeah. even though I think his stocks went up, he got he got half of his purse. And Batista. But when you fight for the title, it's one purse. Ah, okay. So it's flat. It was flat. It was yeah, flat. So it doesn't matter. So but, but at the same time, Mario Batista, even though he lost, and even though even though he can get a not favorable matchup next, he has like Jose Aldo on his resume. So I think he That's true. Uh, you know, once you beat a guy like Jose Aldo, remember Merab or Volkanovski. Everybody was talking shit about the performance back in the day. Nobody cares anymore. Yeah, Everybody yeah, say he beat Aldo, you know? That's and true. I think it's going to be exactly the same. People people forget. People are going to forget about how how there was a robbery. And he, he's going to have a W of a, of a legend. Yeah. But as of right now, so who do you pick? You pick Bautista? Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. A win is a win, especially overall. No, that's a good point, though, because in 5, yeah. 10, 20 years, it's like, it's on his resume. Yeah, this guy's going to be doing speeches. Hey. They remember the time that I beat Aldo? Yeah, yeah. but that Khalil Roundtree fight is going to be legendary, too, you know? I think people forget. You think? I think. But I do think that it's this is going to impact... People are going to remember Pereira, not... But not, not I, I think this is going to impact Mario Bautista's next couple of fights. Like, I'm looking at the rankings right now. Yeah. I feel that, like they're going to give good. him, like, a... Yeah, if you're the matchmaker right now, you, um, you want to let these guys sit down for a little really while, Really depends, right? because remember when I fight RDA, nobody yeah. talks about that was three or four weeks. Every, every time I see... They say, yeah. ah, he lost to RDA, but was not like... No, but you won after that fight. You, your, career, your career changed. Yes. Like I think it's going to change. Khalil that could happen. Career. Depends on him, you know, but I'm telling yeah. you, people not going to remember RDA fight. Not, uh, not yeah. going to remember that fight. Yeah. I think his next fight going to show if yes. he's going to have a successful career or not. But okay, now I have pull a, up the 135 uh, rankings, uh, Kyle, because I want to... Let, let me give you another question there. Another one, another hard one. So... Remember, uh, June 28th, when McGregor was supposed to fight Chandler, yeah. right? So McGregor pulled out, and then they put Poitain and, and Giri, and they put Diego and, uh, and, uh, and Ortega. And remember who was the next fight? It was supposed to be Khalil Round 3 versus Jam uh, Jamal, Jamal Hill. Who do you think would win on that fight? Cool. I like, I like uh, Khalil Round 3. Who do you think, Jamal Hill or Khalil Round 3? Uh, at the time, I would say Gemma Hill. Now, I, I'm not so sure. Cool. Now, who do you... I think that's, that's the fight they're going to make it next. Yeah, that's true. And who do you think true. he wins? Yeah. I think now, I think Huntry, just the way... He he was off... Man, but that's tough because he has losses for Jan, Johnny Walker. And that loss... I think he's different though now. Years ago, then he moved to Thailand, then the guy invested in his career. He lost to Kutalaba too. He's he a different fighter it. now, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah he that, that, let true. me ask Gilbert a question because... You, you guys saw fucking Jamal Hill yawning, putting yeah. on the, the fake yawn. He got yeah. roasted for that because they asked. Bad. They asked that was Alex, even worse. They asked Alex. They were like, "What did you think of a Jamal Hill yawning?" He's like, "I don't know. Maybe he just woke up from USC 300. It was hilarious." Man, his bro. trash talk is so underrated. Bro, Peloton so underrated. is like imagine he's got this motherfucker talking now, English, dude. my brother. Wow, I think when that was on the. <laughs> I was thinking about that. Do you think somebody say uh, no, say no that to me? No one said it. You saw I know, it? I saw, but maybe on the backstage. Hey, because that, that's a question that people Yeah. If right. I was his coach, I would say, hey, they're gonna ask you that. Some so to prep him. Say, no. prep him, yeah. But but with Because so if nobody so prepped him, that was unbelievable good, bro. I don't think Insane. the coaches even saw that because the coach was celebrating and he was doing yeah. that. No one no, saw we it. gotta give Palatan the benefit of the For doubt. Sure. That was yes. super on the spot. That was on fucking spot. That witty, was amazing. Yeah. Insane. Yeah. Insane. So yeah. Palatan's yeah. just at the top of the game in every way right now. Yeah. Like he just is. So why you think guy's so successful right now, right? Crazy. Yeah, like nice, he's just right? killing it, bro. He like everybody. He's a fan favorite with his style. 
He's a fan favorite on social media. His English is getting better. His trash and talking. The guy, and, and the guy in the trash. You saw him on the trash? Yeah, that on was a good video. Yeah, it? that was a good video. You didn't video, see brother. that? I don't know. I he, might have. He put on social media that, that he was in the trash. On a, on, was gonna pull it out. on a trash bag and the and the who who was taking the bag the, the trash bags was the, those couple two girls very hot the oh, name. Here it is, here it you is. You saw that or no? Man, that was funny, brother. <laughs> <laughs> and his coach. <laughs> so man, funny. he's doing such a great job. <laughs> he's doing a good he's, job. He's doing, but yeah, imagine yeah. if he lost that fight, people would get this photo yeah, of him on the trash. Yeah, yeah. And they would yeah, maul him. Crazy. <laughs> but right, they would. <laughs> but when was that? That was Thursday, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. He was so smart because people were talking about him on Thursday with that. People were talking to him on Friday for the way he is. And people were talking about him Saturday and Sunday after the fight. So he make people, he carry people talking about him for the yeah. whole. So, but, but that's the whole thing we were talking about the, the his team. I don't, man, imagine if he, this is him come up with these ideas because this is genius, my brother. Yeah. I think he's him, to be honest. He's a, so he's a genius then because he's a genius, that was so good. Yeah. All right, girl, stay right there, Kyle. Stay right there. All right, if you guys are the USC, what is Mario Bautista's punishment here? He's ranked number 11, right? He's going to go up above Aldo, obviously, right? But, like, who are you matching him up with? Because people are saying, like, have would, fun at the Apex for the rest of your career. So I would, people are saying I would, him right now. I would put him against Spota. <laughs> <laughs> you hey, got this. You hey, got this. put him against well. <laughs> you got this hey, motherfucker. I put him against Francis Ngannou <laughs> yeah. on this graphic that I had I rolling, think, I, No, no, actually, Islam. thinking Islam. about that right Islam. now, Islam. We, we got this motherfucker at number 11, you put against Derek Lewis, and it's a deal done, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give, give me a real answer. Scroll back up. Give me a real answer. Me? <laughs> but this against who? I'll give... Uh, Ed's on my balls, bro. <laughs> break, break these guys' ribs, bro. Come don't on, you don't do that with Aldo. I don't know. Let me bro. let me see. Let me check. Let me check. Go back. Go back up. Go back, Kyle. Uh, <laughs> no, I think I think uh Henry said Dudu. <laughs> Henry said Dudu. For <laughs> sure. Said Dudu? Henry said Dudu. Henry's not gonna take that fight though. Henry said Dudu. Oh, he needs a win to come back. Yeah, but he's maybe he's maybe not Kyle Phillips. Him, maybe think. he has to fight backwards. Oh, was, Kyle Phillips is a good say. fight. Kyle, Kyle Phillips, Phillips is yeah. good. He, at an Apex main event. Super yeah. underrated, right? Kyle Phillips. He's very I good. think it's like, how do you call the immobiliary? The game, board game. How we call the, the bank game that, that you Monopoly. buy? Monopoly. Monopoly, Monopoly yeah. <laughs> he won Aldo, so he got a card and like, now you have to be five times on the Apex. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Because you beat Aldo like that. <laughs> You have to stay. You have to fight five times on the apex. No crowd, <laughs> I gotta tell you the funniest shit ever. We were in the high limit blackjack room this weekend. Moicano starts talking to me in Portuguese. <laughs> like he literally for a second thought I spoke Portuguese. Like he wasn't even like messing around. No, no, no. I don't know why. <laughs> I, and I said, I said to him, I said, hey, bro, you're not going to play anymore, bro, the guy's crazy, you're losing money. I looked at him back, I'm like, bro, you know, I don't speak Portuguese. I'm like, man, I'm speaking Portuguese right here, man. Oh my God, it's uh, so funny. Blackjack. Bro, we know we, we are not talking about gambling, but that was the first time that I see somebody playing back, blackjack, $100 a, a hand. And, and thousand. Th thousand. Yeah. Thousand? Thousand? <laughs> thousand i think it was 100 nah bro I, i mean i play like 300 to 1500 no that was a thousand a hand the chips are hundreds okay but it was stacks of chips okay so yeah. but but you play how much oh, my average bet's like five kyle these guys thousand. came back to talk about gambling no again, no kyle. i'm sorry but i'm just i'm i just want to tell that that's not a good game to bet It's not game okay. It's so fast. You lose money so fast on, on blackjack. <laughs> yeah, it is fast. Yeah, but let's it get back. To, ah, to let's get back to it. All right, let's move down the card so then we can move on to, to this weekend. So who picks. do you give to Bautista? Kyle Phillips. I like the Phillips pick. I like because Kyler Phillips main event, and I think he could lose a decision in that fight too. I really do. So Kyler what, Phillips is good. So you watch the call main. Who you think you want, Pena or Pennington? I don't really care, my brother. <laughs> but you watch it or no? I watch. 
I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but no, I was but, not. But you got I was me. not paying well, attention. Here's the thing, though. You, you got me on that because you said the fight will be good. I think the fight yeah, was better I than I thought. I told people, I was like, it's going to be scrappy. The like, fight it's not going to be boring. Than I thought. There was big knockdowns. I will say one thing it's, it feels like it's a win for the USC that Juliana Pena won because she's going to promote, she's going to talk. It's going to be a better fight against Kayla Harrison as far as yeah. being a that, bigger that fight. That was just so. very, I like the Kayla fight, just the Kevin yeah. Holland was very unfortunate with that. With yeah, that so, injury, right? yeah, I wanted to ask you on that. So it was ruled a TKO round one because of the rib injury. What did you make of that fight? I thought Roman Delete said, I, I can't, I can't. Take Kevin Holland to win fights at 185. I'm gonna fade him every time when I bet against him. Just because you guys want to take him down. At 170, I'll I think he is massive upside to make yeah. a run. If he takes it serious and only cares about winning and not just I think paid. I think how how old is Kevin Holland? He's I, I think if yeah, but how much money you I'm sorry, I'm completely wrong over here. But how much money Venom pays you? Venom? Yeah. Uh, how, how many fights do how, you have? I have 20. 20, 20? So you get the most, right? The most. 23, I, th I think it's the most. 20 something, 30. 20? Maybe. 20 something, 30, maybe. Okay. Kevin Holland's only. 25 or 30, I'm not sure. Kevin Holland's only 31, bro. So I think, you know, that's my opinion about Kevin Holland because I like him. I think he has. I think he's, he's that guy that whenever he gets disciplined, he should go to 170 and making a run. I think. Yeah. But he's 31, making money, popular, fan favorite. I just hope eventually he gets, like, yeah. serious about it. I don't think he's still serious. He's still making fun, making money. You know, when you're 31, life is still fine. You're good, you're making money, popular, you know. But I think eventually, maybe after these laws or maybe in a couple of years or one or two years, eventually yeah. say, you know what? Let, let's give a good shot for this. Let's go back to 170. Right. Let's take it serious. Let's wrestle a little bit better. I do I do believe the guy has so many skills, knocked out so many guys, bro, right? Yeah. Like, if you see his resume, he beat a couple great guys. He People like the way he fights. Good grappler, good striker. But I, I agree with you. I think at, yeah. at 185, it's going to be rough. You know, those guys are yeah. very big. Eventually, they're going to take this guy down, control him, make a boring decision and win. Or he, he, he those things are going to happen. You know, he's going to get injury and stuff. Yeah. I, I hope he, he goes down to 170 and, and make it run. Yeah, I agree. Um, I mean, he, he has some really good knockouts on his resume, you know. I think he can make a run. Maybe he'll be like 35 years old. You know, he's just making Maybe. money. Yeah. I mean, Moicano and I were talking about the, at the Hard Rock. We were talking about right? how much he made off that uh, that Hamzat fight. Yeah. yeah. A lot like, of money. I heard that he made a lot of money, too. Yeah, a lot so of he deserves it on that fight. So, all right, moving down the card here before we move on. Uh, one fight we got to talk about, bro. I've been on record against against Joaquin Buckley. You got to give this man his props for this yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah, for sure. He had a great game plan early. It wasn't boring wrestling, but he, he mm -hmm. implemented the wrestling. He was aggressive. He walked forward. And he did something that almost nobody has done. Outside of the Superman punch that Anthony Pettis landed on, on Wonder Boy, yeah. I don't think he ever been TKO'd before. No. So you got to give Buckley credit. I think this dude could potentially be a fight or two yeah. away from the belt, Sorry. from from a title shot. You know, so you got to give him credit here I um, agree. On, on his run. Even uh, uh, Kevin Holland went up to him after the fight, and they kind of squashed their beef, <laughs> yeah. and he said, respect. You know, because Kevin Holland knows how tough of a fight Wonder Boy is. I mean, yes. now granted, he didn't, he let him up a couple times, didn't wrestle him, but um, it, it is a good, I think it's a very good win for Buckley here. So we got to give credit where credit for is sure. due. And the photo of him punching is crazy. Crazy, yeah. right? You see the, like but, he was. But he looked impressive. And I said it, you, you both guys pick uh, Wonder Boy, right? Uh, I think you both. I don't remember. Boy. I took the fight to go the distance. Yes, on my yes, I took one Yes, I yeah. was the only one. I remember I was the only one taking Buckley, and I said he's gonna mix it up. Yeah, because the mix it up is not even to grapple or to or to out grapple the guy. It's just to mix it up, so make you think about it. So you're not yeah. 
you know, through you, your strike, like he was with Kevin Holland, he was with other guys, he was with Vicente when he fought Vicente. Take this guy down one time on the first round, maybe twice. Yeah. Take this guy down again on the second round. Third round, he's gonna guess, you know, he's gonna be guessing like, man, this guy's gonna try to take me down again. So he's not yeah. free with his thing, you know. So that was the key. I said, I that's what I thought. Buckley is gonna be faster. He's gonna take him down the first, take him down the second. I didn't know. He's gonna get a knockout. I thought he's gonna get the decision. I did too. To win, but that knockout was amazing. Guy looked good, yeah. and I like it because nowadays it's not just about the performance, right? Like Moicano, he went there and he beat the crap of BSD. But the most important is after the fight. What are you doing to give it the mic? Yeah. And I think he he learned he because mean, last yeah. time he called McGregor out. Yep. He, he didn't say nothing. He was kind of crazy. Then yeah. have that thing with DC was nothing good. Bro, this time he killed it on the mic. I think he did great. Yeah. He could call out against Kamar because the guy had, doesn't have a fight coming up. He might do get think, it. Do, I he think he might get, get that fight. And he how might get it. How do you think that fight goes? Because if you would have asked me this question a fight or two ago, I wouldn't even hesitate. But now, I think Buckley's a live dog against Kamar Usman. 100%. He's... Uh, he's He's undefeated on the 170 division. Yeah, five and zero. Yeah. Five and zero. He he is looking, looking impressive. He's looking impressive. Very good head movement. Uh, punching hard. power. Yes. Kicking power. And especially power. Mi mixing up. I think against Kamaru Usman. Kamaru is old now. He's not yeah. the same. Yeah. I mean, How old are Kamaru? Is Kamaru? Forty. Thirty-eight. Here's what I'll say. I know Kamara obviously has the the well the way better wrestling, but Buckley is a physical specimen, and I think that matters in this fight. He's thirty seven. Yeah, I think if yeah. Kamara keep taking down, might be different. But it's yeah, it's crazy how it's fighters are me, old now, right? But it's to me, it's less about the the number, right? It's less about the thirty seven years of age. It's more about the wear and tear and the activity of the decade yeah. of, of of his run. You know, I think, but I think it's the it's way the he momentum trains too, right? The momentum too, you know that. Yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. look at that. Look at the Warriors he went through, bro. That's so yeah. many. I mean, Maya, Woodley, Colby, That's just Mike, crazy because Gilbert, if it was not for... Like, there's so many big For Edwards, there. he would be the best 170 yeah. of crazy, all times. Right? Yeah. He would be retired by now. Bro. Yeah. If he was beating... That was... Uh, everybody, everyone was here. If he, he was beating... Leon Webber's back then in, in, in Salt Lake City, he was going to retire. Yeah. And now he's three three losses in a row, my brother. How nice crazy man. is this fucking game? No, it and is. the guy was the most number one pound for pound. Now they like, yeah. Yeah. It, it is, is just it like is screwed that. up how people, yeah. People are prisoners of the moment, you know? Yeah. That's just how it Especially, is. Especially, but if you believe on that, if you, like, I don't think he does believe on that, I think. But if he does believe on that, the guy would be under pressure right now. Yeah. Who would you, so who who would you take in this fight? If they make this fight, are you going Kamara or are you going Buckley? I'm going Buckley. I think I'm taking Buckley, bro. You're taking Buckley? I don't know. That's, that's a tough fight. Yeah. I think they might do it. I you do know? Too. I think they might do it. Because who else is... I mean, I mean who's Kamara going to fight? I, I if, you all, if I was the match maker on that, I would put Kamara against Jack Madalena. But Jack, I just saw... I follow him, so I saw one of his last posts. He's still with the freaking cast over here, bro. Yeah. Crazy. How crazy is that? So, oh, what about what what about Sean Brady versus uh, Joaquin Buckley? Who would you take? In oh, that that's match? a good fight too. I think Buckley has the edge. Just in, I don't know. It's, Buckley it's very tough. No, uh, that's a good fight. That's a good fight. I like that fight too. Yeah. They might. I think do they're that. gonna make that fight. At, now that I think about it, I think they're gonna make Brady versus Buckley because they I, both have. Well, well, Brady doesn't have the same win streak because of the loss to Blau, but they both have a yeah, lot of wins in this. But division. Brady want to fight, want to fight upwards, right? He want yeah. to fight Kobe, Jack Della Madalena. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't, don't know. True. That's true. It's kind of crazy, right? You gotta see two. That, it's so tough that that bullshit yeah. on the rankings, my brother. It's so tough. L yeah. Look at the lightweight. Go to the lightweight. He's over there. He's over there. Look at the fucking lightweight. Look at he's over there. Look more kind on the eleven, brother. The level of disrespect, you know. That's yeah. crazy, right? I like man. that spot of here, number five. Uh -huh. Dan Hook, easy money. Yeah, 
No, but just engaging number three is nice too. That number three, that yeah. is nice. Man. No, and that's why that's why I was willing to wait because I saw an interview him talking with Shimo. Yeah. Did you see the interview? No, what did saying he say? that he wants to fight in March because October is going to be six months of the knockout. He's not. And then he he's not start sparring. Training. Yeah, yes. and then this month he will start to to get back to training to spar nice. to everything. See, I would wait until March for see, to fight see, him. Uh, that's one thing that I like. But I saw to. Ali. Talk to Ali. Call Ali. Well, he said, Let's, Let's call make Ali. the fight. Let's call Ali. Yeah, right look, now. bro, you're at number one right now. Money? <laughs> Money, Mohicano? Let's call Ali right yeah, now. Look, look. <laughs> <laughs> Put his photo that you. Hey, brother. Hey, we're here on the pod. We're live. You guys live? Yeah, we're live. Mohicano said he want to fight Justin Gaethje. <laughs> Moicano can do whatever the fuck he wants. <laughs> See? Moicano can say whatever he wants. <laughs> What's up, bro? What's up? Yeah, What's man. up, Ali? Thank you so much. Mic. Thank you so much, my brother. Thank you. I, was, I, I was telling Gilbert, I have huge respect for, for Justin Gage, and I saw you, you, you want to put him against Dan Hooker, right? I just don't like Dan Hooker. I want to <laughs> I don't like it too, my brother. I want to fight Dan Hooker too. <laughs> Honestly, I don't like this guy. You know, I, I want to smash his face because he talked too much. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But brother, hey, you know, brother, I think he can do whatever he wants. I think he earn it. I think he have second. I think he have winning streak. He finishing guys. He not boring. You say fuck Macron. I <laughs> <laughs> the best line. I think, brother, listen, at the end of the day, like, I, I believe in these views, like, these people, can, these socialists and these people crazy, you know, like, they just ruining our kids, our families. Exactly. And I believe in the same values, but in reality, man, Mike Cano get whatever he want. Mike Let's Cano go. want fucking money. Let's go. <laughs> Mike Cano wants money. So, so, I want to tell you, if they don't give you the Dan Hooker fight, Money Moicano is here because I want to fight for the title too. And just to gauge, he is a he's a contender. I think your three options is Benil, Justin, or Dustin. That, that's it. That's that's his man. He wants to fight Dan Hook. He wants uh, Gage to fight Dan Hook. He 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 gonna come back in March, you know. And this is when when is Justin gonna fight? I don't know, but this is the three guys you should fight. Okay. Justin, Benio, Benio. No Patty, no Patty Ali? No Patty Pimblet? How many fights you have left on the I knew you were going to ask that. Me? Two more. Two, two more. Yeah, I'll fight Patty. <laughs> Actually, I'll fight Patty before all of them. You know, he makes the most sense. And Justin Gaethje, too, honestly, makes sense also. But if the UFC said fight, I think you'll fight you also, my opinion. I just, the, the way to talk about this, that Dan Hooker already lost for the title of Islam in one minute. Two minutes is submitting, you know? He's, even if he beat Justin, what are you going to do with him? He's not going to fight Islam, you know? Yeah. And this is the angle you should take. You should talk, hey, this guy already lost to the champion. I, I, I didn't lose to the champion. And you, you, have, you have the best winning streak, honestly. My opinion, but you know, you have a lot of good things going for you, brother. Congratulations, and I wish you guys the best. Thank you so hey. much, Ali. Thank you, Ali. Thanks, bro. Uh, hey, we're gonna we're gonna get Kayla here. Uh, yeah, yeah, she, uh, she will come 100%. Hey, yeah. and I saw a video today. You were drowning. What was that? Yeah, it's okay, brother. I, uh, <laughs> I it's okay, brother. <laughs> no, you saw that or no? That was crazy. That was on the TMZ today. They got like, they got like almost two million views. <laughs> but what happened? That was when you went to Hawaii. Okay. We, we, you know, I'm not a very good swimmer. And Otman say, oh, jump in the waterfall. And this waterfall is like very big. And 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 I jump. I don't want to be a pussy. No, and but I, I saw. I'm not. I'm not. You saw that it was today on TMZ. Ali drawing like almost dying on the thing and the guy Otman yeah, yeah that thing that thing as I as I tar that guy saved him because he was <laughs> he was drowning yeah, it was bro. crazy bro uh, he says swim to the end at the end is gonna be a rock I can stand on how long ago when was I, that it's like last week when 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 I swim 
I go in the end, there's no rock, and I panic, wow. you know? And I start panicking. My brother, it's the worst feeling ever, bro. Wow. Honestly, I thought I was going to die. Wow. And after Crazy. that, I started laughing when I come out. And he's like, and he was like breathing so hard. He's like, why are you laughing? I said, I almost died, but I understand how you can die. <laughs> that was crazy, bro. I saw the video today. I was just like, wow. I thought that was, I thought that was old. Wow. You're crazy, bro. Cool. All right, All right my brother. Thank you, my brother. Right. I call you. Take it easy. You got to check. Goodbye. Yeah. All right, last fight I want to talk on. So, so, so let me ask. How you like these yeah, advice? Look, he, yeah, like, yeah. he likes the advice. No, 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 not the advice. Do financial, think, financial, <laughs> financial advice. Do you think? No, it's good because Ali is always real, right? So he yeah. was telling, man, and that's true. I think I have the best right now uh, winning streak. Win streak of the the lightweight division. For sure. And I think I should fight for the belt next. No, no, next, but. I have a title eliminator yes. next. Right. So do you think he would make the Justin Gage fight as I, your manager? I think you gotta push to this fight. He will he will make the fight happen. If he's willing to fight then hook all the way back. Oh no, no the hook no. is number six now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he will fight you, but I think I, I I'm think, not fighting Dustin Poirier, but right? I know no, that. I, I'm not I, fighting I don't Dustin think anybody Poirier. wants to and, see that. Yeah. And, no, and the guy. I would never fight Dustin Poirier. But then, anybody wants if to see it. If you have to fight him, let's say if you, if they offer, and let's say it's gonna suck because the white guy's gonna train. Bro, if they made well, that you, fight, you, you I would mean be Dustin so Poirier? Mad, yeah. yeah. No, I'm not fighting him, brother. Yeah, yeah, I so agree. Mad. But then. And they're not gonna offer. But let me ask you something. Let me ask you to to answer your question. Who is the fight that you want? Just engage. That your number one pick. So I think that that's my opinion. If you really want the the just engage fight, you gotta start pushing for this fight. I think if you push, if you make a lot of noise, UFC is gonna say, you know what? That fight is, he has makes a sense. Story. Right, that bro. fight makes sense. Talk to the camera. Tell us you want just engage. Why? Bro. And why? Give us your why? sales pitch. Let's go. March, I know Josh Gage is hurt, so he needs some time to recover. And I think Josh Gage is a fight that put me to the title. Yeah, that's why I won the fight. Interim champion. I don't BMF have nothing champion. against against the guy. I don't think he's easy money. No, I man. think he. I think he's hard money. Hard right? money. Right? I think that's a hard ass fight. But guess what? If you want to be champion, you have to go through to a test. And I think Josh Gage is a. Awesome test for me. And I think I'd be here, to be honest. Let me ask you a question different way right now. You tell me if it's easy money or hard money. So, Patty Pimblet. Easy money. Dan Hooker. Easy money. Just engage. Not so easy. <laughs> <laughs> so, and what fight you want? I don't know. I'm happy with whatever they, they offer me. But like I say, I want to fight for the title and... 100% a victory over Justin Gage will put me to the For tape. sure. And I like, I love Justin Gage too because the guy is a freaking legend. He's a former interim champion when he beat Tony Ferguson. And remember when he was fighting, he don't even want to take the belt because no, 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 I would just want the real belt. Remember that? Yeah. That he didn't took the belt and then he went to fight Habib. Habib put him to sleep yeah. and then he came back. He fought a couple of fights, fought Fiziv, he fought a couple of guys. Then he became BMF champion when he, when he got the, 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 the rematch with Dustin, freaking highlight crazy knockout, and then he lost to to Max Holly. But I still believe, like you, the guy is a legend, and I agree, he's a very hard money. So he, that fight, I think I would watch it. I'll but but he though. could be a legend. He's tough to beat, but he he's he has. I have something that he doesn't. I cannot afford to lose my yeah, brother. I so like that fight. Whoever they put in front of me, I'm winning because I, I like cannot that. I like that afford to lose. I say that many, many times. Yeah. So I want to ask you guys to put in the comment if you want to see that fight. Money against highlight knockout. So that, that fight's not. Nice. I'll tell you one thing though, bro. And I don't mean to be negative here, but I think you're like the worst matchup for Justin Gagey. Me too, bro. If Gagey, I think, think about I it. Think if you're so Justin true. Gagey, look at who your losses are. Oliveira by submission. Uh, Habib. And Habib by submission, right? And if you're just engaging, you could fight Dan Hooker, who's a striker at five, versus Moicano, who's a bigger threat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I just, just feel like that's why it's gonna end up being Moicano, Patty, and then Gagey Hooker, bro. I, I just think, I just think too, and I think me as a manager, to be honest with you, if I was just engaged manager, if I was, 
Ali Abdelaziz. Just, 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 just what you a, doing with just, your... Just put a, a thing here on my head <laughs> like that. Uh, brother, brother. I what think, happened, brother? Who shaved your fucking brother, head, my brother? Why you did that, man? Brother, brother, because now I became Ali. Brother, brother. Look at brother, this guy brother, brother. Look, look, at, look at his <laughs> with me. Look at his with me. And now he tried, to, he, he, he tried to put his feet. He can't swim a little bit. He looked for the rocks. And they, <laughs> you know rocks? You know rocks? Look, he's going down. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's going yeah, down. Like, Look, <laughs> hey, he's no rocks, bro. Yeah. No way, I can't stop. And they say, the rocks over there. And then he goes to the rock right now, looking at him. <laughs> bro, when I saw that video, on the beginning, I was just like, oh my God. And then later, I was laughing, bro. Look, <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy. This is fucked up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. And then he holds on the, on the rock right now and like, Oh, he almost died. Oh my God. Look at that video, bro. That's crazy, bro. And the guy went how to gonna, get- How gonna he leave there now? The guy now got he's a rope. stuck. The guy get that rope, like, get, pick on si paws on la. He, he Man, he's him. tired. Look at that. <laughs> he was breathing heavy. <laughs> Look at the guy getting the rope. <laughs> he makes the rescue. Look at that. Where is that, brother? Is this Brazil? In Hawaii. That was in Hawaii. Last last week or two weeks ago, he went to Hawaii. And, and but, look but at the rescue. Look who, at the rescue. Who, whoever. Is that guy old man as I tired? Yeah, guy. but whoever did the, 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 the film, Ali knows him because there was not a lot of people over there, brother. Yeah. They sell to TMZ for money. That's hilarious. Look, look at the rescue, look at the rescue. Uh, all right, we gotta move Let's on. Look at the rescue, look at the rescue. rescue. Look at the like rescue. a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. <laughs> look at that. Hey, and, and who, I, I gotta ask you that real quick. How did you got that thing with the, the, the turtle and then who could put it on, on the tree? How how do you talk about that? That was crazy. Nah, the, the, this is an old saying in Brazil, like, right? Yeah. It, it's like with politics sometimes. Uh, like they put somebody on the, uh, uh, and you don't know how, and you say, this is a fucking turtle in a tree. Nobody knows how he got over there. Somebody put put him over there. And that's why I, I say that. And how'd you get up there then? I don't fucking know, my brother. <laughs> uh, and, and a lot of people were asking me why I, I say that, but in my opinion, he lost to Mateus Gonro. Even though it was a close mm -hmm. fight, I thought he lost, but he was at home, right? And they yeah, give him yeah. the decision, so I, I don't he believe he, he should be he won. off and damage for sure. I think he won. He won. He won. I think yeah. he fought so much better than I thought. He fought. Agreed. Good. I bet. I think he looked, he I looked good. Gamrot. He looked very good. You on gotta that realize fight. if I bet on Gamrot and I said Gamrot lost, then he definitely lost because usually I'm biased with my bet. Who you, know? you bet? Yes. You bet in the hooker? No, no. I took Gamrot oh, against you bet Dan. I lost. You I lost that bet. Okay. And I think Dan Hooker well outperformed expectations in that fight. So uh, we got to move but, on, though. But, but I, I, I was going to say that real quick because I say if I was a lead, right, man, I feel if I was Gates' manager, yeah. I will, I'll put him against you. Just like think about it. Gate just get knocked out real bad. I'm not going to put him against the dust and that, that hits very hard. I know he's going to take six months to recover. But I will not put him against a high level striker to kind of boom. You, you calling me not you a know, high level no, no, striker, no. my brother? You are. Huh? You are. No, don't I'm, don't get me wrong. Ooh. But you know what I mean? Right? That's the what level. you think, man? The level. The level no, no, of I'll, disrespect. My brother, honestly, this motherfucker to come here and right say that. Now, bro. Huh? If I was spar. a manager. Hey, brother, you used to fight 155. Don't forget that, my brother. <laughs> don't forget that, my brother. If, if I was a manager, I will not put him against a. Heavy yeah, striker. I know what you mean. I'll put him against a grappler. You know what I mean? I would do yeah, that. Yeah, but always struggles against the grapplers, dude. You got to give him time to recover and then let him fight and a striker. And they go to another striker? I mean, everyone at 155 You know, I would look, 10. Dan Hooker, if I was a lead. Dan Hooker, I would, nah, that guy's going to make a war with, with Gage. Gage just came from a war, did end up yeah. his way. I will not put Dan Hooker. I will not put Dusty. I was going to look. Maybe Benil, but Benil is not gonna sell. He Benil need a big fight. Wow. I'll I'll try to use your hype if I was if I was just engaged manager. Say yeah, make let's make with the Moicano. I, I, that'll be my. Option. I don't know. It's time to go. Thirty five, my brother. 
I'm not fucking losing to anybody on this division. Yeah. Any, but you know what? You know what's up? But uh, you, Ali was right. They sent me over there right? to lose to this fucking yeah. French, my brother. For right, hundred percent. Sure. You All know. Right. All right, but let's move on. We got to do some picks for this weekend. Let's go. So you got to put that video that was there. No. Oh no no yeah, I got to show the video first. So Kyle, play. Tyron Woodley was just on a podcast, and he said this. Let's take a look at the clip. Really, it was a fight of get me against myself. I was battling myself. Usman never was a, not he was always a worthy opponent, but he was never a threat, right? Robbie Lawler was a threat. Carlos Conor was a threat. Darren Till was a threat. Damian Maya was a threat. Wonder Boy was a threat. I beat all the people that were scary. The Karate Kid, the number one Jiu Jitsu guy, the ruthless motherfucker, the natural born killer, the gorilla. And I lose up. Marty, Gilbert, Luke, and Kobe. I lose to the four goofiest motherfuckers in the division. I wasn't there. Who was there, Who was there then? I wasn't there. <laughs> I like. Like I like when they these guys, they didn't get the book right. You know the book that that Verdun said the the manual. When you lose, I do believe if Pereira has lost that fight, he never said he was antibiotics. He not give no excuse. I lost. Mm -hmm. He won't. He can't say. Right. Uh, what's his name? BSD when he lost to, to Dusty. Dustin. Dusty. Oh, I had a staff. You don't say nothing. Mirab beat. Uh, Sean O'Malley, Mirabi can say, yeah, I had the staff shoot. Yeah. Because he won't. When you lose, don't say, that, oh, I wasn't there. Or it wasn't me. Yeah. Uh, no, bro. Just, I lost. I, I didn't, yeah, I, I messed up a couple things. It wasn't my night. The guy beat me, whatever. Yeah. Don't say I wasn't there. And another thing, too, this guy was saying, oh, I beat Carlos Conant. Remember, that was 10 years ago. The yeah. guy's still living in 2014. Yeah. Come on. yeah. You say, what, did you say what do you earlier? think? What do you what do you say? What do you think? Boxing. The guy lost to who? Yeah, he lost two times to to Jake Paul to call you a goofy motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know. Level. That's why I don't like to watch the video before because at the time I I I found really funny, but now yeah, I'm pissed, my brother. Disrespectful, <laughs> right? Right, disrespect to disrespect yeah. you for, with you, Luki, and and he Kobe calling and he calling you Mamari and Kobe. I don't know, man. I think he was old. Right, he was not on the same on the same level, but fuck that, nobody cares, brother. Be yeah. Why you lose? It's like you're saying about about Pereira. Pereira was fucking coughing, my brother, on, on the on the on the, the, on the corner, fucking bro. corner, oh, yeah. brother. Crazy. And like Maddie say, I don't think he would come up with excuses because no, brother, it was like that FZ fight. I never talk about that, but it was very bad with COVID. No, I had COVID, and very very your bad. Your fight with we, we RDA, bro. Yeah. Yeah, but it is what it is, you know. So, but so, you decided to fight, so yeah. we, let's go. Once you, know, you sign up, was yeah. like the shoulder, brother. That was know, with yes. the bad shoulder. Yes. And if I go over that and, and, and I win, and it's not, not even me, brother. I sent I sent the picture to Hunter because Hunter asked me like everything's okay. Uh, I I heard that you you were hurt, and yes, and I sent the picture of, and I'm. I think he sent to other people. Was not me. Is after the fight. After the fight. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. After the fight, he was say, he, he was congratulating me. I saw the report. Kevin Ayoli. He was the one that showed your picture before. Yeah. yeah it was not me. I didn't send picture. And he to is me. the one that initially uh, announced that it happened after round one. He he misreported. That. Yeah, he misreported because. Yeah. But doesn't matter because my point over here is not. He said once you sign up for the fight, yeah. doesn't fucking matter because yeah. people no, are not gonna remember. No, you no. can you like the thing is you could put out. If you really want, you say, bro, my shoulder is messed up. I'm going to pull it out. But that moment that you decided to, you know what? I'm going to fight. I don't care. I'm going to fight anyways. When you decided that you're going to fight, that's you there, bro. Yeah. There's no excuse. No. I decided yeah. to fight. It is. Yeah. I messed up with the weight. I messed up with this. I got injured. Bro, was you? I wasn't there, bro. You were I there. wasn't there. I remember punching your face. I remember you hard. over there, man, bro. I what you talking about? You. I remember when I was mount and I elbowed you so hard in your face and you start bleeding. I remember that. So was you there? But <laughs> I don't even want to say nothing about this guy. I, I wish him all the best. He was he was one of the champions, one of the best at his time. And uh, you think I'm a goofy bro? Now <laughs> now I gotta say that. Yeah. Remember what about you do box with him? Now I'm gonna say that. Now I'm gonna tell you that. Remember when they opened the PI? Yeah. They have the show with the. Uh, 2017. They have the concert with uh, 
Snoop Dogg. Do is Snoop Dogg. <laughs> so I was there. He was Snoop the champion. Snoop the L-double G, my brother. <laughs> so, remember, so remember that concert over there at the PI? Just the fighters were crazy. So Ty Woodley was the champion back then. Yeah. I was still a lightweight. I was there with Luke. We were having fun. And then I saw Ty Woodley and I want to take a picture. I want to take a photo. And I, and I hate to ask for a photo. I never ask, but yeah. I like him. I like the guy. He was a big wrestler, knocking everyone out. And I asked Luca to take a photo. He can't take a photo. I said, yeah. And then I came in here and I said, hey, can, can I take a photo with you real quick? And they said, yeah, for sure. And then he came. And Luca wants to take a photo. And the guy, I was there taking a photo. And he was like that. Yeah. And he took a photo like that, bro. And that's what and he decided. And the then I look the at the photo. <laughs> and I look at the photo and I look at the guy and say, I'm going to kill this guy one day, bro. I'm not even going to post that. I'm telling you right now, I told Luke, I was That's so sick. angry. That's sick. That's a sick story. One day, I said, one day, I'm going to kill this guy. You see it. And you see it. And then that day came yeah. and the guy's calling Next me. Next time somebody asks for a photo, you go like that. Bro, <laughs> you were goofy, brother. Everyone that asks for a photo, out because of that, everybody asking for a photo, I take my time and go there, talk to the guy, ask his name, take a photo. Because of you, I learned the lesson. So you were goofy, my brother, not me. How old were you when you got that picture with him? 2017? 17. 2017. Almost 20 years ago. <laughs> that was, yeah. Dude. When I remember it was in that Snoop Dogg show right after the concert. Wait, he 2007? Was 17. No, 17, 17. Oh, okay. So he was. <laughs> I'm, I'm better at math, brother. Seven years. <laughs> so he was the champion, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, let's we, go. We got to move on to picks. Let's look at the main card. So Let me talk about this card one thing. All right, go ahead. Very <laughs> underhated card. Under, yeah. Underhated? Nah, why? Why is underrated? This fight is going to be good. Which Brett one? Brett Tavares and, and this other motherfucker. Hold on, underrated or underhated? Underhated. Underrated. <laughs> hated? He just says everything. With underhated. I have a Santa Hayes. <laughs> I have a Santa Hayes. Raise my brother. <laughs> I so mean, that's so a, you like the card or you don't like no, it? No, I like the card. For okay. a, for Apex card, okay, Brett okay. Tavares, go, go. better than Luke's. Yeah. So I go back, go back. D. Rod and Alex Morono, good fight. There's some scraps, yeah. There's some yeah. scraps. Yeah. Scrap, yeah. No, no, no. Abduk Dabba Gadabasa. Jonathan Pierce. Abduk Hadaksa Hazalasa. Very good. Hazaki. Abduk Hazaki. Abduk Hazaki Lahakasa and Josh Frank. Good. This order. Shiji Nujoku Ninani. Versus Jared Gigadi. They said his name one more time. Jared Gigadi. Shidi Nyojo Jared Gigadi. Jared Gigadi. Jared Gigadi. Let me tell uh, something. You know, that's a great fight. It's not. They are not great fighters, but that's going to be a scrap. No, this guy is amazing Muay Thai kickboxer. The other guy, Nico a brawler. Nico win this fight. Tampa you know? Gorimbo win Chris, this Chris fight. Chris Barnett and, and Junior Taffa. That's that, a great that's Apex. A fight. That's, a, good that's fight. a great Apex card. Dude, let's go. Let's go there. Watch. I like this card what? now. I Man, actually like this card, bro. To watch. No, I'm going to Brazil next week, my brother. Different life. Where are you Make going? Make some money. Brazil, Brazil. I'm going to talk about politics, my brother. I'm going to talk all that bullshit gonna, that is happening in Brazil. Another, another, another same, yeah, another talking? Yeah. Where? Yeah. And then I'm going to... <laughs> the guy, the Moicano was fighting and uh, Big Nog was commentating in Brazil. Yeah. And we have a big politician channel in Brazil and then uh, Big Nog was saying, yeah, now he owns that channel yeah, too. <laughs> yeah, Big Nog was saying, brother, a lot of people come up with me to say that. He's a big channel. Yeah. And they say, yeah, Moicano owns that channel, bro. This is laughing. like Fox News from Brazil. And they say, no, he's he's like a partner with the Fox News in Brazil. <laughs> what this motherfucker is, is telling? Hey, I wish, my brother. Hey, Mary, I was laughing so hard with this guy. Like, oh, he's the owner. I said, oh my God, he's... <laughs> Paralelo, huh? Brazil Paralelo? <laughs> By the way, it's a good channel, my brother. Brazil Paralelo, yeah, if I'm you can, shoot, shoot that shoot channel. Out. I don't make any money that off That channel it. is huge. All right, we got we to gotta focus. All right, before we get started on the picks, guys, go use code SHOWME. That money. The code is SHOWME on Fliff. Get you some free coin to get some action with. The link is in the description of the YouTube channel. You can also find the link on our, uh, on our Show Me The Money podcast Instagram. You guys click that link, use code show me, you will get some Look, free coin the, to bet with. How big is the channel that he owns in Brazil? Oh, four million subs. That's crazy. <laughs> all right, all right. Main event. We gotta get into it here. Tatsura Tatsu Tyra. Tatsu Tyra easy give, money. Let me give you the breakdown, bro. Easy money, Tatsura. Tatsura Tyra is a minus two seventy five favorite on Fliff. Brandon Roy Val plus one ninety five underdog. Roy Val is coming off a great win over Brandon Moreno. He outlanded him by thirty strikes. We did get taken down three times in that fight. 
Hatsura Tyra, on the other hand, seven submission wins in his re on his record. He's going to look for takedowns and finishes in on this fight. He's coming off that win as well. Uh, he On the feet, pretty decent. 4.3 strikes per minute. Um, he has some good striking in his arsenal and switch up his styles and attacks. This is going to be an interesting matchup. I was yeah. actually surprised Hatsura is almost a 2-1 to one favorite here. I think it's a close fight. Brandon Roy cool. Val is dangerous, bro. What do you guys think here? I think it's closer than people think. Who do you think? You think Tyra? Tyra, Tyra is money. I, I yeah. think Brandon Roy Val wins. No, no, I don't know. Maybe decision, but one thing is for sure. Uh, UFC wants this guy to fight for a for a for a Japanese. for a title. Japanese, yeah. very young, very very skillful. Do, do you guys remember what he did to the other contender? Like yeah. hurt his knee. Yeah. yeah, very young, very very what you say? Very young, very good, very skillful. handsome. Handsome? <laughs> <laughs> no man, <laughs> Japanese motherfucker, handsome. Are you crazy? This guy is not a Raul Rosa, but... Here we go again. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> no, v v but he's I, very, very good striker. Very good. We, very complete. So, Six. Tyra, for sure, for you. For sure. You, Matty. I'm going to, for a pick, I'm going to go Tyra, but I think Brandon Royval is a lot I, I think Brandon Royval wins this fight. I was talking, I was, I was talking to, Roy, to, to, to Pantoja when he was fighting Royval, yeah. and he beat Royval kind of quick on the first time. The second time, he said, but the guy has very good defense on Jiu-Jitsu, good get-ups. The guy is strong. And you know you know one thing about Brandon Royval that Pantoja told me before and after the fight? Mm -hmm. He said, the guy's in freaking Colorado. The guy is maniac, maniac with the cardio. If you remember when he fought Brandon Moreno, yeah, he was in Mexico, but it was a short notice because Almir... But how long ago Al was that? Al that was a long time ago. No, 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 no. That guy, Almir... Albazi. Albazi pulled out and Brandon Moreno got a short notice and mm. for great five rounds against a Brandon Moreno. So I think Brandon Royval has more experience, has the best cardio, has I think Brandon Royval wins this fight to get another title shot. His Antonio. cardio is good. And very he's very good. he's very dangerous. This is a good fight. I think we'll pass on as far as maybe building a parlay because we're a little okay. split on it and it's uh it's tough. So let's move on to the co-main event here. If we can go back, please, Kyle. Who you like the co-main event, uh, Boykano? Brad Tavares versus John Young Park. Man, that's a, that that's is going to be a great scrap, and I don't know who is winning. Today I was watching Brad Tavares against Gregor Rodriguez and the Korean guy against uh, Gregor Rodriguez. Yeah. So you were studying Gregory. I was. I was. <laughs> no, I was. I was doing the predict for my channel, yeah. and since they, they both fought, fight Gregor, I could see the, the game plans, and I think Brett Tavares is a good underdog for this fight. I think Brett Tavares wins this fight as really? well. Really? Yeah. Mm. I think he's a good... I mean, his takedown defense is very he's good. He's the best. And the best. he can maybe win. He can maybe but, win a but, decision. But he's not... But the other guy's he's not shooting be for scrappy. takedowns. He's going to yeah. be stand-up scrappy. I think Brett Tavares is a little bit better. Interesting. Who but you got? Who the you lock got? of the card is Grandol, so he's not losing to yeah, he's Rafa like, he's Garcia. A big but he's a big favorite, yeah. I'll tell you what, I agree, but like Rafa Garcia is a dog, bro. But but you go coming back and that you go Brad Tavares or you go on Korean guy? I'm a I'm a I'm gonna lean with you guys on Tavares, but I'm not confident. I'm not okay. confident. And Grand Dodson for sure. 100 percent Okay. And who is these girls? You know who these girls are? I Maybe. was watching her fighting today. She's good. Which one? Julia? Julia. Or, or, yeah. She's, she's where, a little she's bit from where in Brazil? Rio de Janeiro. Yeah, where's she doing? Small gym, small gym. Okay, but this fight is nice, right? Yeah, the who hard you, and like that one because you're bigger Moreno, I know. So Alex Moreno, I've made a lot of money off of, but I can't trust him. I can't trust Why him anymore because he just doesn't do enough on the feet sometimes, you know, and he fades a little bit. And D Rod's mm -hmm. vet, I that's a very tough fight. I don't like either side I, on that. I, Let me I, see what the odds are real quick. I think Daniel Rodriguez. I think Morono is a good underdog again. But is Daniel, he a dog? Daniel Rodriguez. He's a dog. Daniel Rodriguez needs really? a win, right? Hold because on. Because Daniel Rodriguez, I remember his last fight. He said he needed the money, right? And then he had to to pick the fight against to get the fight against Kelvin yeah, Gastelum. And Kelvin came what ten pounds over, and then they had to reschedule the fight to one eighty five was kind of catch weight, and then he was so mad because, bro, I need the money, I have to fight. He fought the guys anyway, he lost, and then UFC ended up giving him a new contract. 
So I think Daniel Rodriguez is just like more money more he can say he cannot afford to lose. Yeah. I think Daniel, Yeah, otherwise they're gonna kick him out. Alex, Daniel, so Alex Daniel, Moreno, Alex Moreno is a plus one fifty dog. I gotta take Moreno at that number. Me too. I, and he, he also has he also has good jujitsu. Yeah. But, no but, take down defense, but, but good guard. Yeah. yeah. And what do you think about D Rod's grappling? D Rod's just gonna strike. Because I think Moreno can win the fight there. D Rod just gonna strike. Yeah. D Rod has good Very, you like Morano as a dog? No, I think then I would Alright, we're win. split there too, so we can't we can't pick a fight. We can't we, we we're not all aligned anywhere. We got a battle parlay. What about this fight? Because this might be my favorite play on the card. Which one? I'll let Moikano say his name. Abdul Hazak Halakalakasan. Yeah. Bro, I'll tell you one thing. When he fought uh recently how, how what's the odds for this fight? So to, so he's a minus one fifty favorite. I think he wins by knockout. Something crazy Brown. happened on his last fight. What happened? Yeah, it was the DQ. It was uh Earth. Oh, it was uh, the guy Bo Nico. The guy that beat the, the guy that Bo Nico beat last. It was, uh Cody Brundage, right? Cody Brundage. Yeah. Yeah. So I will tell you one thing. That ended up I being or, or the elbows, elbows on the oh, takedown, that was dude. Illegal and elbow, yeah. This dude is a dude. He is a specimen, bro. A I savage, think he's gonna yeah. knock out Josh Fram. He's a savage. Are you guys good with us putting his yes. money line in the parlay? Yes, money line. He's, All right, he's All right. favorite, right? He's minus one fifty five. We're taking it. Okay. All right, so we're gonna put him in as, as leg one. Let's build a three legs here. Um, let's go. Cool. We need at least one or two more go, legs. Go down a little bit, Kyle. Let's see who's down that. Uh, <laughs> oh, who you, I I like I like Chidi on that fight for sure. 100%. Chidi and Jaquani, yeah, Jared Gooden. Which one you like? That one you like the other guy, Jerry Gooden, Moicano. <laughs> What? Who you like on that fight? I like Chidi. Man, this guy is so good at striking, but he's so bad at grappling. No fight I kill. The other guy don't grapple anymore. The other guy is a boxer. Yeah, he's a boxer, but at least he finished. The Brazilian guy. Jared Gooden just won by submission his last fight. Against well, Turman. Against yeah. Turman, yes. So I might go Jared Gooden here. Yeah. He's I an underdog. He's an underdog. I think he's a good underdog for this one. Yeah. I can't I, trust Chidi. I dude. thought Chidi was going to win, but yeah, Chidi at Chidi, Chidi, welterweight, I don't like that much. That guy's huge at uh, 185. When he said he was going to come down, they really? Yeah, brother. And no take it out the face he, at he, all. But if you remember, he was the one that did that nasty cut on Gregory. Like, yeah. But then Robocop finished him in the next yeah. round. Yeah. That's a tough fight. Let's leave it out. What else we got? Keep scrolling. Go back, go back. Let's screw it. Uh, uh, oh, dude, I'm all in on like, Jonathan Pierce. All in. All in. Jonathan, Pe Jonathan Pierce is win. Let's see the odds real quick. Jonathan Pierce is... Uh, not a minus 136, favorite. bro. I love that. I'm Money line. That, dude. I don't trust Pat Sabatini striking, dude. Yeah. Jonathan Pat Pierce Sabatini. is... is Is good and the both, the, the reach areas. will be crazy. And think about it. Jo remember, Jonathan Pierce was putting a pace on Joe Anderson Brito before he got submitted. Yeah, Jonathan Pierce is a dog. Bro, dude. You saw the photo from Joe Anderson Brito? No, I put in the almost group. nine kilos, brother. Oh yes, the weight. Yeah, the weight. You saw. You yeah, saw that was the photo crazy. Yeah. The weight. Yeah, that was How crazy. Much? Nine, nine nine kilos, like that's crazy. Eighty eight kilos. It's kind of like almost nine kilos. One That's insane. He's the he's the ADCC eighty eight kilos. He's one ninety four yeah. pounds. How about you? How come that guy makes 145? Too much McDonald's, man. You don't even... You never, you never <laughs> Too weigh... Too much it. McDonald's. You, you never weigh that, right? Never, I never weigh that, that big. I was maximum, never that. What's your maximum? 86? 86 kilos. That guy, 80, 80, 80 yeah, That's crazy. 45. All right, we need one more leg. Scroll up to the You top. like that guy, Tara Gorimbo, or no? Tamba, Tamba. Price what, is crazy. What do you guys think about... Okay, so what do you think about right here? The uh, the Grant Darson fight. What do you think about the fight going to distance? Which one? Rafa Grant Garcia versus Grant. 100% going to the distance. Go to the distance, yeah. How much is paying? 100% um, go to the you distance. You think that he should sub that guy, no? No, the other guy is like, good. he has eight wins by submission, one TKO only, Rafa Garcia. No, I think, okay, you guys can go on that, but I think Duarte, Dawson gonna find a way to sub this guy. All right, let's leave it off. Then. No? Let's let's do this. Let's do two no, legs for this sure week. Not okay for sure. No, not. no, let's no, do, no, not not for sure. Could happen. Let's do two <laughs> legs this week. We need this to, is we, MMA, guys. We need to get a win. Last week the part Jose Aldo failed us on the parlay. No, the judges no, failed, the judges us. failed us. That was right, freaking right. Right. the judges holding for life. All right, fine, but we need to win a parlay. So here's what it is this week: only two legs. Jonathan Pierce minus one thirty-five to beat Pat Sabatini. 
is leg one. Leg Morano. number two, Abdul Razak Alassan to beat Josh Frem, minus nice. 155. Like like two that. small favorites. Do your job and get it done. $100 pays 284 total. Only two legs, Paulie. Two legs. We need a okay. win this week, okay? okay? We're going two legs total. 100 pays 284 total. Go use the link in the description. Code show me. We'll get you guys some free coin for the fights Them this money. weekend. And tell these guys what they got to do. Tell the Moicano. people, Moicano. What's up, motherfuckers? Like, subscribe, and share. And always remember, show me the money. Us.